What's going on YouTube? Kamikaze Von Doom here with another Division 2 video. Now shout out to the DoD Disciples of Doom. And in today's Division 2 video, I'm just checking in on you. All right, all right, enough, uh, enough Bill Burr. I don't know, I love the guy. Anyways, this is going to be your weekly vendor reset and must buys for today, June 28th. So sit back, relax, grab that popcorn. Don't forget to hit that like, subscribe if you haven't already. And let me know in the comment section below what you think. We're going to start off in D.C. and then we will finish up in New York City. Here we go. What can I help you find? All right, so we are at the Base of Ops vendor and he is selling the Glory Days. This is the named P416 with Perfect Nearsighted. This week it comes with Reload Speed. Then we have a MP7 with crit hit damage and killer, followed by ACR with fast hands and damage targets out of cover, and then a Magnum with rate of fire and eyeless. For the gear items, we have a Wyvern backpack with skill damage repair skills and overclock, and then a 511 chess piece with max weapon handling, hazard, and trauma. Now looking at the mods, we have a crit hit damage mod, 10.1, Drone plus two extra bombs, turret burn damage 4.2, and sticky bomb skill haste of 4.1. Now, must buy things to look at from the very first vendor at the base of ops. Um, no, nah, not really. All right, let's move on to the clan vendor. Now, uh, if you guys did not know, today is the weekly reset. So, the season activity for this week that just started is the Chang. League, the Chang League. For this one, Pentagon, DARPA, Potomac, Roosevelt Island. You have to disrupt enemies and destroy Black Tusk elites. All right. And for the clan vendor, here we go. Good of you to stop by. Clan vendor, starting with the new reliable. This is the named RPK with perfectly optimized. This week it comes with max crit chance. For the gear set items, ongoing directive backpack with hazard, negotiator's dilemma gloves with weapon handling, and hardwired knee pads with armor regen. Going to the high end items, we have a military M9 with reload speed and optimist, followed by a tactical MK16 with headshot and in sync, followed by a badger mask with health and headshot damage. Araldi Gloves with Crit Chance Weapon Handling, a 93R with Headshot and Future Perfect, a Heligard Chess Piece with Tamper Proof Hazard and Health, and then finally, Wyvern Wear Gloves with Repair Skills and Armor Region. Now looking at the mods, Shock Resistance 8.8, .8, Seeker Mind Skill Haste 5.1, Seeker Mind Plus One Cluster, and Pulse Health of 16.1. Now, must buys things to look at from the clan vendor. Uh, hmm. And I've got nothing. All right. So we're going to make our way west, and then we will double back east, starting with the campus settlement. Come on, load time. Now, also a friendly reminder, today is the launch day of uh, Outriders, uh, what is it, World Slayer? Early Access? So I will be streaming that uh, later this morning, so look out for that. It's going to be fun. We're going to check out what Outriders has to offer in its newest DLC. But here we are at the Campus Settlement. And she is selling the Scalpel. This is the named Marksman Rifle with Future Perfection. This week it comes with Crit Hit Damage. Then we have an SR1 with Stability and Future Perfect. And then a Infantry MG5 with Killer and Mag Size. Don't forget about that Max Damage Targets out of cover. Now looking at the gear items, we have a Raldi Mask with Headshot and Explosive Resistance and a Yuzina Gattaca holster with armor region and headshot. Now looking at the mods, Skill Haste 10.1, Chem Launcher Ensnare Duration 7.7, .7. Hive Healing 4.5, Pulse Cone Size 6.4, and finally Trap Shock Radius of 5.8. Now must buy things to look at from the campus. Um, hmm... 
I mean, there's still, no, nothing's really catching my eye here. Nothing. All right. Now we're going to start with our Dark Zone vendors. And first one up is Dark Zone West. Ho West! You guys remember that uh, that show Nailed It on uh, Netflix? It's like this baking show where amateur bakers try to, you know, recreate something that like a professional baker does. And then when they're done, they say, Nailed It! Well, she has this guy on there. His name's Wes. And whenever she calls him, she's like, Ho Wes! Anyways. Now, all of these Dark Zone vendors... Uh, will sell items. However, the only way to buy them is with DZ resources. Now, the only way to get DZ resources is actually within the dark zone. And if you have already been there and you want to check how many resources you have, just go to your inventory, toggle over to resources, and then it's just above the keys. For example, right here, I am at 142 DZ resources out of 300. So if I find anything I like and it's more than 142, I'm going to have to jump back into the dark zone and uh, get some more DZ resources. So let's see what's over here at DZ Hawaiist. All right, starting off with the Death Grips. Now, the Death Grips are a PvP exclusive. Um, you can only get them in Conflict, the Dark Zone, a Dark Zone vendor like this one, or a named item cache. Now this one has 100 and eh, just under 135k armor for the core, and then it also comes with health. Now if you need this one, I would pick it up and then re-roll that health off for something else, whatever it is you like, and then just optimize that core attribute. Not bad, it is a PvP exclusive, so I will always say that it's a must buy just in case you don't have one, or it's not proficient in your expertise library, I would definitely pick these up, donate them for you know the proficiency ranks, or if you just need one, pick it up anyways, reroll that health, and have fun. I just uh, did a armor on kill build with one of these. Um, yeah, not too shabby. Then we have a double barrel shotgun with health damage and fast hands. Followed by a Resolute MK47 with crit chance and killer. Now for the gear items. True, uh, tip of the spear gloves with headshot. Tip of the spear knee pads with status effects. 511 gloves with health and armor regen. And then Petrov knee pads with headshot and skill damage. Now looking at the mods, we have burn resistance 8.3. Seeker Mind Skill Haste 4.9, Shield Holstered Regen 4.3, Firefly Speed 8.2, and Decoy Duration of 6.0. Now, must buy is things to look at from DZ West, the Death Grips. They are the named 511 gloves with armor on kill, and they are a PvP exclusive. Pick it up while you can. Next stop, we're going down south, boys. Yeehaw! Woo! Uh, DZ South, let's go. Let's go to DZ South. There we go. All right. DZ South. The Deep South. Here we go. South Vendor. Nice hey, the gift. The gift. Fuck. Yo, look at my proficiency rank on the gift. Oh my fuck. What? Um, I might be <laughs> I might be in the dark zone quite a bit this week because I need to make this backpack proficient. Um, jeez, dude. I'm only I'm barely level one and a half on this one for the proficiency ranks. So I need what? I need um what is that? I need ten. No, I need eight and a half. So that would be 16, so I need 17. Jesus. I need 17 of these. Oh, that's going to be a lot of farming in the dark zone. Oh, man, I don't know. That's a lot of farming. Anyways, you can get this one guaranteed right now at DZ South. The attributes are shit, but I'm only going to do it for the proficiency ranks. I would say pick it up now. It is a uh, PvP exclusive item as well. So this one you can only get in the Dark Zone, Dark Zone Vendor, uh, Conflict Cache, or a Named Item Cache. So yeah, P 
pick this one up, make your uh, shit proficient, be good to go. DZ South. And then we have a Tactical UMP with Health Damage and Perpetuation, followed by a Black Market AKM with Rate of Fire and Fast Hands, and then another Magnum with Strained and Stability. Now gear items, we have a True Patriot Backpack with Skill Haste, Ongoing Directive Chess Piece with Skill Haste, 511 Backpack with Composure, Armor Region, and Skill Damage, and then a Araldi chess piece with armor region, health, and intimidate. Now looking at the mods. Crit chance 4.6. Drone damage reduction 5.0. Turret duration 6.0. And sticky bomb duration of 6.3. Now must buy things to look at from DZ South. Um, the gift shit uh, attributes, the really bad attributes. But definitely pick it up. I'm going to be picking up a few of them just to get those proficiency ranks on and uh, popping. Yeah. DZ South. And our last Dark Zone vendor of the weekly vendor reset is Dark Zone East. Now, what I do is I fast travel to the alpha checkpoint. I don't go to the main entrance. Reason being is I can just go right outside the door and the vendor is right there. If you go to the main entrance, you have to run through the entire courtyard. So you can see how fast it reloaded me in. You would have to load in way out there past the gate, and then you'd have to run all the way through here. So I just go to the alpha checkpoint, go outside, and here we are. It's good to see you. Dark Zone East, starting with the Ekum's Longstick. This is the named marksman rifle with that perfect ranger. Now this week it comes with swap speed. Then we have a hunting M44 with crit hit damage and killer. And a classic M60 with crit hit damage and preservation. Now looking at the gear items, tip of the spear, mask with nearly max core attribute and explosive resistance. Rigor Holster with status effects. Petrov Mask with hazard and repair skills. And then finally, Richter and Kaiser Holster with armor region and status effects. Now looking at the mods, Skill Haste 9.9, .9, Chem Launcher Heal 6.0, Hive Health 7.4, Pulse Skill Haste 4.7, and Trap Shock Radius of 5.8. Now, must buy things to look at from DZ East. Um, man, these, these, uh, uh, I'm not even gonna recommend Tip of the Spear. I'm sorry. You guys, if you like Tip of the Spear, let me know, but I'm not gonna recommend it, especially at the Dark Zone. You can get a better one in Countdown. All right, let's make our way to the last stop in Washington, D.C., the theater. The theater settlement. Here we go. Come on, man. Big money, big money, big money. And starting with the mop. Now, this mop already comes with max armor damage, the armor on kill, and it has in sync. Very interesting. So all you would have to do here is just max out the shotgun damage, and then you'd have a fully god-rolled mop with in sync. Not bad. Not bad at all. Then we have a KSG shoddy with Headshot and Vindictive, followed by a classic M1A with mag size and flatline. Yo, yo, that would be sick, though. All right, I'll, I'll talk about that in another video. Ha! And then uh, gear items. We have a Grupo uh, pair of gloves with Headshot and weapon handling, and then Overlord knee pads with health and explosive resistance. Now for the mods, Shock Resistance 8.3, Seeker Mine Damage, 4.2. Shield Deflector Damage, uh, 4.1. Firefly Plus One Max Target. And Decoy Health of 6.0. Must buy things to look at from the theater. Um, the mop is not a bad one. I'm not a big fan of NSYNC, but I know a lot of you are, and this is a great one to pick up. Um, that classic M1A with Flatline, just, uh, just look at it. Um, and that's about it. All right. That is it for Washington, D.C. We've had a lot of duds, a couple PvP exclusive items, but mainly duds. Let's make our way to New York. 
Come on, New York City. Come on, New York. Come on, Big Apple. Hook your boy up. Don't be a dud just like Washington, D.C. right now. Let, let's finish off this weekly vendor reset with something strong. Please give me something good. All right, here we go. Marco, come on, man. Come on, Marco. We've been doing this every week, bro. Come on. Oh, fuck. All right. Uh, starting with the FAL. This one comes with bread basket and reload speed, followed by an infantry MG5 with crit chance and measured, a M870 Express with optimal range and spike, and then finally a card 45 with damage targets out of cover and killer. Looking at the gear items, Murakami chess piece with skill haste, weapon handling, and tag team. Sokolov Concern Gloves with Armor Region and Skill Haste. And 511 Holster with Armor Region and Status Effects. Looking at the mods. Crit Hit Damage, 10.1. Blind Death Resistance, 8.6. Turret, plus one extra Sniper. Pulse Cone Size, 6.2. And Sticky Bomb Blast Radius of 5.0. Um, must Buys things to look for from Marco in the Haven. Nah, nothing. That was a great trade. Shoot. Shoot, man. Roy Benitez, you're you're our last hope, man. That's it, Roy. It's all up to you, Roy. Er, hold up. Hey, puppy. Don't forget to pet the dog. Come on. How you doing, man? How you doing? Wagging his tail. You got some food? All right, you're good. Yo, can someone get him some water over here? Hey! Someone get him some water. All right, we're good. All right, buddy. See you later. Roy Benitez, hook us up, please, you old gray bastard. Hey, Here we go. Ah, looking like some more duds. Uh, we have a Tommy gun with armor damage and spike, followed by a classic M60 with optimist and health damage, followed by a urban MDR with crit chance, max crit chance, and eyeless. And then finally, another Magnum. That's three this week with uh, damage to target side of cover and close and personal. Now for the gear items. Hanayu backpack with crit chance, status effects, and safeguard. Sokolov concern knee pads with skill damage, skill haste. Interesting. And then Fenris holster with skill damage and weapon handling. Now looking at the mods. Headshot, 7.4. Protection from elites, 11%. Shield damage bonus of 1%. Hive health, 7.9. And sticky bomb blast radius of 4.8. Um, Ray Benitez has nothing. I mean, the Sokolov Concern knee pads with skill damage, skill haste has my... Has my interest, but nah, not really. All right, moving on. That is it for your weekly vendor resets and must buys. I am Kamikaze Von Doom. This is June 28th. And then just a reminder, there is another countdown vendor over here in the Haven. Just in case you don't want to fast travel all the way to Washington, D.C., here is the countdown vendor over here at the Haven. Now, the countdown vendor is selling three named items this week. First one being the Emmeline's Guard. This is the named P90 with perfect preservation. And it comes with mag size. Then we have a Point Man. This is the named Heligard chess piece with perfect vanguard. Comes with skill, damage, and armor region. And then finally, a Zero Fs chess piece with perfectly unbreakable crit chance and hazard protection. So I hope you uh, you guys are farming some countdown. Get these named items. Make sure they are proficient. And yeah, have a good day. But all right, everybody. That is your weekly vendor reset and must buys for June 28th. I am Kamikaze Von Doom. Thank you so much for sticking with me in the video. Don't forget to support the video by hitting that thumbs up. Support the channel by subscribing. And let me know what you guys think in the comment section below. But with all that said and done, I will see you all in the next one. Take care, everyone. Peace.